Right, so um, I've been using this for a few days now and uh, we'll just have a run through the features and I'll show you how the controls work and, uh, and then we'll go and uh, trim a bit of uh, foliage and see how we get on. So um, starting at the bottom we've got a normal kind of two line head on here with um, bump feed on the bottom. I haven't had to replace this. This line that came with it I think is about one and a half millimeter, slightly thinner than a you would get on an industrial kind of uh, commercial strimmer but um, it um, seems to work very well actually and lasts a long time. I think that might be mainly due to the fact that um, you can set this on a low speed and uh, so whilst with my petrol strimmer you hold the trigger down or tend to squeeze it harder gradually as you're using it and it goes faster and faster to the point where these just snap off because this one rotates a bit more slowly and you can set it as such um, these don't don't break off because they're not flying around at crazy speeds although they go perfectly fast enough to cut through grass and whatnot so um, that's uh, that's quite good and um, so I might ordinarily I would probably upgrade to a thicker uh, a th thicker strimmer line but it seems to work pretty well this thing here I had a quick go with but didn't really get on with it's meant to be some sort of guard for when you're strimming up against objects so you um, your line doesn't come into contact with say a wooden fence and make marks on it or something like that which some people might find useful but uh, not me. We've got the typical little line trimming blade here, uh, which works fine. Um, this guard, perhaps a little small. I mean, you do get a lot of stuff all going all over you when you're using it, more so than my old husky trimmer. Um, but there you go. The uh, shaft is nice and long. Um, it's not telescopic. I'd probably say that as a bonus for me because I gen everything's normally too short anyway for me because um, I'm about six foot one or something so um, I normally find most of the shafts on equipment and brush handles and shovel handles they're all too short and I just extend them out to the full extent anyway so um, they're, they're more consumer level ones have an adjustable shaft so you can put them up and down which might be handy if you're going to get your wife to use it or something but uh, I can't see why you would need it to be honest this loop handle is quite cool because um, you can slide that up and down the shaft to uh, to suit how you like it. I haven't moved it from um, where it was when it arrived because you can put your hand anywhere around it. So um, there's a little loop here where you can attach your shoulder strap. I used that for a while, but uh, the thing's pretty light, and um, unless you were using it, you know, all day, um, there is. Uh, I wouldn't say there's much point to that really. Um, you've got uh, the trigger here with two bits, you have to squeeze them both to get it to work. I think the top one's like a lock and the bottom one's the actual trigger. Um, so that's quite standard really. Um, I'm not sure if this is just a battery housing or there's the motor in here. I would guess the motor's down at the other end really. I can't see any point in having the shaft running down like you would um, the drive shaft running down the centre of the, the shaft as you would in a petrol one. Um, but there you go, uh, little hooky thing there, don't know what that's for. And then our battery on the end, this this one which I'll be using for the demonstration is a, a Vanon branded one which you can get on Amazon. Uh, so it's, an, it's a, an LTX battery, that's the thing you're looking for. No, LXT battery. Yeah, that's the thing you're looking for. And uh, I've had, um, I bought a a Bosch battery charger which was Vanon branded and that was okay although it did get wet and break in the end so um, here you go so, now let's have a look at the controls hopefully my stupid phone will focus so to switch it on we just press this one for a little while and then the lights come on um, now you press this one here to cycle through the speed settings so you can have slow uh, medium which I found to be not very much different to the top speed, to be honest, and then top speed, or, this is pretty snazzy, uh, automatic. So what this does, it senses the load on, on the strimmer, 
and varies the speed accordingly. So if you're doing like just running down the edge of a path or something like this, it will just go really slowly and save on the battery. And then when you get stuck into some more vegetation-y stuff like that, it speeds itself up. So you don't have to, um, you know, worry about uh, changing the speed all the time. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that when we use it in a minute. Uh, and this one here is, is really cool, and you wouldn't get it on a petrol strimmer. But you can, if if um, you get a load of stuff wrapped around the head, you just put this in reverse, and it'll run in reverse for a little while, and just like all the stuff which is wrapped around the he head uh, head and jam jammed in between the head and the 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 body of the strimmer would just all fly out so that is like a real bonus because you used to spend hours pulling that out when you're doing something very strong like nettles or something they tend to get wrapped around the end so um I'll, let's go and find a bit of uh oh look that's handy it switches off automatically after about a minute <clears throat> so uh you might find that annoying i think five minutes would have been better but uh there you go, never mind. Anyway, let's go and find some foliage and we'll, we'll have a demo. So this is the um, uh, knockoff uh, uh, battery charger and battery packs, which I got off uh, Amazon. So these aren't genuine Makita ones. Um, and they're about uh, a third of the price. So um, I thought I'd give them a whirl. Uh, so this uh, double battery charger is particularly expensive if you get one from the genuine Makita one. Well, this one was £23. So, um, it plays a little tune when you put the batteries in. So, that's nice. And uh, I've got two batteries on here which are different brands, both off Amazon, I think. Or was one off eBay? Can't remember. So, uh, this one here claims to be a 5 amp power one. I don't think that's true. It's, I mean, nearly the genuine Makita ones are three amp hour. Uh, this this one here is three amp hour, as we can see, um, and uh, they both last about the same amount of time. So I expect the five amp power is over reporting. And to be honest with you, I'd probably say to avoid getting something which over reports because um, the cells in there quite possibly are crappy because. I've had a lot of um, rechargeable batteries over the year, which were, have been have overreported their capacity, and um, and they're never much cop to be honest. So anyway, let's go outside now and um, carry on with our uh, our review. Right, I'm doing this one-handed, so you'll have to excuse if everything's a bit wobbly. So uh, we'll switch it on. Uh, we've got it on automatic speed variation. I think the line's quite a good length. And we've got some uh, good mixed stuff here. We've got dock leaves, uh, some sort of cow parsley, uh, some stinging nettles, and a whole bunch of uh, other stuff. So we'll see how we get on with this. So as you can see, when you first start it up, it's going quite slowly. And as we get stuck into the stuff, it speeds up. Now we'll try it on this dock leaf here. Oh, it slowed down, you see, when I wasn't using it. But it cuts, it cuts quite well even on a slow setting. And we'll try it on this nettle. We'll get it going first. So um, what we'll do now, we'll just put it on the uh, on the slow setting, and see see how it handles this thicker stuff. Okay. So this is just on the on the battery saving mode, very slow. And as you can say, it's it's quite um, it's got quite a lot of torque. If I was doing like low revs like this on my petrol strimmer, um, when I was when I strimmed through um, something chunky. It, it will slow right down and you have you'd have to rev up to counter that but with this this one it seems to have a lot more um yeah torque in in the cutting head 
and so you can keep it at low revs and still go through some quite chunky stuff um, yeah, so let's, let's put it on high speed now and, and really get stuck in so there you go this is flat out so this really munches it up like this let's try these stinging nettles here So, um, yeah, so, it's, you know, make short work of even some quite thick stuff. Let's get this uh, cow parsley here. Right, I don't know if I can do much more because my arm's aching, but um, yeah, so some people have commented on how light this is and said it's like, a, 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 I heard one guy describe it as a, uh, like a toy, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing block work and all sorts of stuff at the moment and uh, I can't use it one handed for more than uh, four minutes and four seconds, it would appear. So um, yeah good bit of kit i'm very pleased with it uh, there was a 36 volt one which i could have got for uh, about uh, 50 quid more which takes two batteries um but i'm glad i went for this one to be honest and um i would probably say that unless you've got using it commercially and want to do something quick quickly and you're being paid by the job there's not really much point in going having anything more powerful um this replaces a uh, a 22 22 cc petrol strimmer a husqvarna one a low entry consumer grade one and i'd say it was just as good to be honest so um you know uh they do do some ones with a, a single line on it um they're apparently very good as well um but uh, i didn't really want to have anything less uh, purposeful than my uh, old husky so um that's why I went for the one with the sort of standard looking um, line head on it. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't hesitate. If you're looking for a new strimmer, I think the whole setup cost me about three, no less than that, 275 pounds with the batteries. You can get the whole setup, I think, with a genuine single battery Makita charger and a genuine battery for 250. Um, but uh, I quite like the idea of the dual battery charger because then you can have one charging while you're using the other one. But, uh, and we've got, um, our garden is, uh, requires quite a lot of strimming. There's like stuff all over the place. And I did uh, pretty much the whole battery yesterday on, sorry, pretty much the whole garden yesterday on two batteries. So if, if you've got like a, even a large garden, uh the it will probably do it all on one battery um particularly if you're just doing light light work so uh yeah anyway i hope you found this interesting uh please like and like and subscribe or whatever they do nowadays and um yeah cheers